Mrs. Rosemarie and an article from April 21st from Students for Life of America said that 23 abortion facilities are now closing. This is what the article said. A recent announcement from the International Planned Parenthood F Federation found that 23 of their member abortion facilities were going to have to shut down, at least temporarily, due to the coronavirus crisis. Now, this is awesome, great news. It shows that, number one, abortion is not essential. And last I checked, killing someone's, taking someone's life, is that essential? No. Live action reports, in 2018, IPPF committed nearly 1.4 million abortions around the world with just over half being done by chemical abortion, the abortion pill. The organization also lists 122,820 treatments for incomplete abortions, which could account for any chemical abortions that failed and had to be followed up with surgical abortions. International Planned Parenthood and other international abortion organizations have been hit hard with their attempt to commit many abortions as possible because of President Trump's leadership in defunding international abortion vendors of taxpayer dollars. So Trump has done an amazing, great job. We also know that Joe Biden is very pro-choice, so definitely give your vote to Trump, hands down. As president, he reinstated, reinstituted, and expanded the Mexico City policy, which forbids U.S. taxpayer dollars from flowing to organizations that commit abortions. He also recently decided to defund the World Health Organization which has become a propaganda arm of both the abortion industry and the Chinese Communist Party. Kristen Hawkins, president of Students for Life of America, recently wrote about the relationship between the abortion industry and the coronavirus. Many Planned Parenthood facilities, as well as independent abortion facilities, were refusing to close and donate their medical supplies to fight the coronavirus. Writing in the Washington Examiner, she said, one organization not answering the call is Planned Parenthood which seems to insist that keeping its personal protective equipment to end lives without interruption is more important than contributing to those trying to save lives at the risk of their own. That would be doctors, nurses, etc., on the front lines, helping everyone to stay safe and make it through this coronavirus awful pandemic. Mira Shah, Chief Medical Officer for Planned Parenthood in New York City suburbs of Long Island, Westchester, and Rockland, so the clinics wouldn't close, saying pregnancy-related care, especially abortion care, is essential and life-affirming. How can something that kills someone take someone's life and then gives trauma to the mummer, mother be life-affirming? Food for thought. Putting aside for a moment that it's not life-affirming for at least one of the people who enter Planned Parenthood's locations, abortion as pregnancy care isn't what New Yorkers really need right now. So... Great, awesome. Also, I'd like to announce that next week, Dr. New from Catholic University of America will be joining us with a presentation for pro-life, typically geared for students. So definitely check that out.